We're going to be open for first Friday tonight starting at 5 o'clock. So come on over here and see us, 616 Main Street, Zanesville, Ohio. First Friday Art Walk, and we are ready to be open. All kinds of interesting things you will see nowhere else. Of course, this is our Coles Aircraft Aviation Art Headquarters. So most things that you will see on our website, which is roncole.net, will be here for purchase, as well as all kinds of extremely unique display aviation-related pieces that you will see nowhere else. For example, we have one of the largest pieces of the Hindenburg airship anywhere in any private collection, and that is my painting of the Hindenburg. We have smaller pieces paired with that painting available for sale here this evening. This is not aviation related, however, this is our autographed Queen album, one of our most prized possessions. But back to the Coles Aircraft Aviation Art pieces. This is a one-of-a-kind uh, SR-71 relic display for $750, but you get a very neat, unique piece of titanium from the fuselage of this specific SR-71 Super Skater. Here is the aforementioned Hindenburg display with a piece of fabric that we have right here that you can physically touch. Where else can you buy an authentic piece of the Hindenburg airship? Uh, more SR-71 displays, a little bit uh, lower price point at $200 a piece. Uh, some terrific South Pacific related uh, Allied aircraft. In this case, a Bell P-400 Air Cobra. This aircraft was actually intended to be exported to the United Kingdom as part of Lend-Lease, but when Pearl Harbor happened, they were pressed into the uh, Army Air Corps and were sent to the South Pacific. Some extremely rare, albeit obscure, uh, piece of fabric from this uh, Albatross D-2, the Austro-Hungarian version of that particular aircraft, for those that are into World War I. Uh, potentially slightly morbid, uh, but nevertheless very cool and unique. Uh, this is a Japanese Oka bomb, uh, which was really one of the first, uh, well, guided missiles, I guess you could say, uh, of World War II. And this is an actual piece of, of one of these. Uh, some of my regular uh, signed and numbered, framed and matted prints. These are 100 bucks a piece for framed and matted piece like this. Uh, each one signed and numbered. Typically, you're going to pay more than $100 just for the, the custom framing. Uh, this is our Huey helicopter uh, cab table, which I think is pretty neat. I've got the rest of the helicopter uh, back home. This is my Japanese World War II aviation collection. Yes, it's an obscure personal interest, but very, very, very neat stuff from a unique subject. Uh, Japanese Zero, main wheel. Yep, I like obscure things, but you won't see one of those anywhere else. Uh, more World War I stuff. Oh, this is uh, my brand new release, uh, B-52 Strato Fortress. This is an actual piece of a B-52 on here in this display. Uh, Vietnam era, uh, the panel that these pieces are from, they're dated to 1960, so this is old original stuff. Uh, a piece of That's All Brother, C-47. Uh, it's a serial number 429847, and why is that important? Because this was one of the lead aircraft of the D-Day invasion uh, that began the Allied retaking of mainland Europe. And this is a piece of that aircraft that you can physically touch and preserve for yourself, uh, for others to appreciate. These are terrific conversation pieces, by the way. You know, why have a, a piece on the wall that it's, I don't know, a bouquet of flowers? I know I'm a guy saying that, but when you can have something like this, a real piece of history that you can touch. It gets noticed right away and people are really interested, even if you're not specifically an aviation buff. Uh, some German Luftwaffe World War II stuff. Um, an obscure subject, but this was one of the Luftwaffe's uh, night fighters towards the end of World War II. An amazing aircraft. The first aircraft that ever had an ejection seat, uh, as a matter of fact. Leave it to the Germans to be innovative. Uh, let's see what we've got. Uh, yeah, okay, I've got quite a few 24 by 36 framed and matted pieces of my work. Again, all signed and numbered. These typically go for around $400. A lot easier to pick up here than it is for me to ship. Okay, 
here's a, oh, trying to deal with this glare here, but uh, here's an actual piece of one of the Japanese aircraft, in this case a torpedo bomber, uh, B5N2 Kate was the Allied code name, the Kate for this particular aircraft. Uh, this aircraft is the so-called nicknamed Hospital Kate in that after it overflew Battleship Row on December 7th, 1941, uh, it was hit by any aircraft fire and crashed into the Navy Hospital. Um, and this is an actual piece from that aircraft where souvenir hunters were, were busy after the attack. That's not me, that's a motorcycle outside our open door. Uh, some more World War I stuff, stop with Camel, uh, a piece of the Memphis Bell B-17, probably one of the most famous aircraft of World War II of any type. Uh, again, here's a piece of it. This is from the, the lower wing while it was on display outside the city of, of Memphis for a number of years uh, before its restoration. Again, lots of really interesting, unique stuff. Uh, we even have you know, aircraft instruments which are pretty unique. You don't necessarily have to be restoring an aircraft to have a little neat piece like this on your desk or you know, in your man cave on a bookshelf. Uh, they're pretty cool little neat pieces of history. More stuff, more stuff, more stuff. Uh, okay, this is the horizontal stabilizer from a, a P-40 that was recovered uh, in Hawaii a couple of decades ago. And here's a relic display, a different uh, P-40, but this particular P-40 uh, was in, or excuse me, was, was uh, flying out of Pearl Harbor on December 7th, 1941. Uh, it was there undergoing repairs and actually was there for the attack. So we have, over there we have the Kate uh, torpedo bomber. There was a piece of that from December 7th, 1941, and this is a piece of P-40 Warhawk that was also there in Pearl Harbor that same day in 1941. Okay, I think we're going to try to wrap this up. Again, there's more more stuff here that we have that is pretty cool. More SR-71 stuff. And if you're into, uh, well, if you're an 80s kid like me, we actually have Galaga that's free to play. No quarters necessary here, folks. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to wrap this up and hope to see everybody this evening. We're going to have a great time.